Hey guys! We're the Violet Reality. I'm Casey Rain. I'm Kim Camellia, and we're back from being away. Yes, we are. So, um, we made a couple of vlogs here and there, and you may have seen them, but um, we haven't really made any real videos yet, like actual talking ones where we would sit down, because just four months ago, on the 21st of April, our beloved prince passed away, and we've been mourning over him for the past few months, and it's been really hard on us, and so, um, yeah, we haven't really been able to make videos because of this. So, as you guys know, um, we started this channel uh, in March um, and one of the main things that we were going to be doing was making a lot of Prince videos and we had this big road map of ones that we were going to do. We made our first one, the Prince vs. Music Distribution one, which you guys loved. We had a real positive response to that and we put it up in kind of the middle of March. Um, and then just one month after that was when uh, Prince passed away. So, kind of, we didn't really know how to proceed. We scrapped all of our plans for the videos we were going to make while we've been mourning and we're still mourning and we'll always be mourning but now we're kind of at the point where we want to talk and celebrate his life and his work and so this is the first video of our of our new series of prince videos and this one is about five prince movies that you never saw or have you in 1981, Prince was introduced to a man who many consider to be the godfather of the music video format. His name is Chuck Statler, and he had done early videos for bands such as Devo and The Cars. And so, Prince put him to the test by making him film a music video for one of his protege bands called The Time. And it was, of course, the video for the hit single Cool. What's that spell? C O O L. <laughs> Impressed with what he saw, Prince had a bigger project in mind. At first, the idea was to shoot Prince's homecoming show in Minnesota on the 1982 Controversy Tour. And after they shot that footage and being happy with what the end result was, they then decided to make storyline footage so that this concert film would become more than just a concert film. This project was called The Second Coming and it featured Prince alongside members of his extended purple family like Susan Minzy. After shooting a full day's worth of footage, Prince became dissatisfied with the project and pulled the plug on it. So we think that perhaps one day at least the concert footage will be released because it was shot on film and so it could easily be remastered to be on a Blu-ray disc. Not long after Purple Rain had hit cinemas and become a huge box office success, magazines already started reporting on what was going to be Prince's next cinematic move. So, in 1985, magazines started reporting that Prince was going to make a movie called Prince of Darkness and the Morning Star. Here's the kicker. His co-star in the movie was going to be Madonna. It's unknown what happened with this project. Maybe it was an early name for Under the Cherry Moon, his next movie. Maybe it was a completely different project that never got off the ground. We may never know. Years later, Prince again tried to cast Madonna in Graffiti Bridge, but she turned him down. After the gritty realism of Purple Rain, Prince had the idea that he wanted to make something a lot more theatrical and whimsical. And so, as most of you, or maybe all of you will remember, the famous line in the credits of Purple Rain, May you live to see the dawn. It turns out that that wasn't just a phrase, but it was actually a hint to a future project that Prince was going to do. It was a musical called The Dawn. At some point, this movie may have also had the name Coco Boys, referring to a band featuring in the movie. It's thought that Prince wanted to put a group together called Coco Boys, containing a young Lenny Kravitz, future Paisley Park signing Tony Lamont, and Mickey Free from Charlemagne. Since Prince had given himself the pseudonym Joey Coco, it was possible that Prince also saw himself as a member of the group. It's believed that The Dawn would focus on a Battle of the Bands style storyline between the Coco Boys and Maserati, another band that Prince had signed to Paisley Park Records. Prince wrote several songs for this planned movie, including Crucial, When the Dawn of the Morning Comes, and the title track, which contained a lyric saying that all the members of the Coco Boys had blonde hair, natural or otherwise. Of course, Crucial was later released on the Crystal Ball set in the late 90s, but the other two songs, they remain unreleased to this day. The Battle of the Bands concept, of course, later on got absorbed into what became Graffiti Bridge, which once again became The Kid and his band versus The Time, just like in Purple Rain. But an interesting thing is that while Prince was working on Graffiti Bridge, he apparently still wanted to make another different movie called The Dawn, but ultimately, The Dawn never got made. 
Hopefully, most of you people watching this video will be aware of early 20th century blues pioneer Robert Johnson, who, according to rumors, sold his soul to the devil for his talent. He died at the very young age of 27 in 19. 38, but because he had such an influence on the art form, Eric Clapton once called him the most important blues singer that ever lived. But what does this have to do with Prince? Well, in the late 80s, Prince made the strange business move of hiring Purple Rain's director, Albert Magnoli, as his new manager. Together, they issued a press release suggesting that they would be working on several movies together. The aforementioned The Dawn, Graffiti Bridge, a documentary about Prince's career to date, and then the life story of Robert Johnson, which allegedly was to feature Prince in a strange move as Robert Johnson himself. Of course, Graffiti Bridge didn't do so well at the box office, unfortunately, and so none of these other movies were ever made, and Prince's interest in making films disappeared. Until... In 2005, while working on his album 3121, Prince filmed an accompanying movie, also called 3121, partially in Panama with a young singer called Liza Hernandez, who in typical Prince fashion, he renamed Liza Elena and recorded a whole album with. That album never came out either, um, but that's another story. When the 3121 album did finally come out in 2006, on the disc it was labeled 3121 the music, indicating that Prince did have plans to release 3121, the movie. But that didn't happen. In 2009, Prince recut and re-edited this movie, and he renamed it Lotus Flower, and the movie, again, was supposed to come out around the same time as the album would come out. It was even rumored to be made available on the website lotusflower.com, but it was removed the night before the site was launched. The film was also shown at the launch party for the album Lotus Flower, which a few lucky fans were able to attend, and it is thought to contain a video for the acoustic version of the song Love, a video for the song The Morning After, footage from Prince's 3121 house parties in LA, and a storyline about Prince being ripped off by his employees. In 2011, a trailer for the film leaked, and that is all that most fans have ever been able to see of it. Now, these aren't the only unseen and or rare Prince movies. Uh, you've got the unreleased version of Graffiti Bridge, which again was going to star Madonna and had members of the Love Sexy Band in it, like Kat, Sheila E and Eric Leeds. You've got the Rainbow Children documentary that Kevin Smith filmed at Paisley Park in the early 2000s and talked at length about in his own DVD, An Evening with Kevin Smith. You should check that out if you haven't seen it already. You've got the Apollonia 6 short movie. You've got the Madhouse short movie. Both of those are available to see online, but have never been officially released. And of course, I bet there's loads of things in Prince's vault that we don't even know about. No. So the question is, should we make a part two for this video? Just give us a comment, subscribe to us, and share this video with all of your friends and the whole Purple family out there. We love you and we really appreciate your support. And let us know what you think. Yeah. <laughs> The Violet right. Reality. Out! Bye. Signing out! Peace! Woo. Check out my shirt, it's so cool! Woo.